I'm dying. This workout's hard. Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin. I am an entrepreneur, marathon runner. Today, I am taking you guys through a day in my life while training for the 2024 Boston Marathon. Today is Saturday, March 2nd. In two days, I'll be six weeks out from Boston. So scary. I try not to think about it. This is my first ever marathon training cycle that I'm actually being coached by Jeff Cunningham. Uh, he is amazing. It's been so great so far. It's definitely different, some of the things that I'm doing, but I love the challenge. I love the change, and he is just so knowledgeable. He's just an incredible run coach. Today is actually my long run day. I have a 20 mile workout on the schedule. Can't wait for that. I will read you off the workout right now. This is, you know, your typical, typical Jeff workout here. Six miles easy. 13 miles alternating between a four minute push at 620 pace and a two minute float and then one mile easy. So basically 13 miles of work within a 20 mile long run. A lot of his long run workouts are just things that I've never done before. So they're very out of my comfort zone. I will say that, but they're definitely making me stronger. We got some big goals for Boston. You don't reach those goals without getting a little bit uncomfortable. So I'm going to program the entire workout into my Coros watch. I have the pace three. Uh, I ran CIM with this watch as well. I've had this watch for a while. I absolutely love it. One thing that I love about all chorus watches is that you can program the entire workout into your watch that way i'm not like constantly looking down at my watch trying to see what my splits are it kind of makes the run very seamless i'm going to show you guys actually how i program it in the app we're going to get this long run on the road it is currently 8 24 a.m people think i'm crazy but you know on my weekends i don't like to get up at the ass crack of dawn and start my run really early i like to sleep and I like to start late. That's just how I roll. Let's go get some breakfast because I need to eat and then I'm gonna get ready. Welcome to my kitchen. Okay, so I quite literally have no food. Um, <laughs> I need to go to the grocery store. You already know we're obviously gonna start the day with a banana and peanut butter. Smuckers is the best kind. I have my dough bar here, and then I also have some graham crackers. I just like to carb load before all of my long runs and honestly any run. Normally I put like the banana and peanut butter on toast with some honey, but I don't have any toast. These have 36 grams of carbs, um, so they're super high in carbs. They sit really well with my stomach as well. And then, graham crackers in general are just a really great carb so i'm gonna do that and then i might throw in some caffeine in the mix somehow mm. they're so good honestly this is what gets me out of bed in the morning when i don't want to run Now that your girl lives in Florida, um, hydration is like a whole different thing for me. I do try to make sure that I'm sipping on water all morning, just so that I'm well hydrated before the run starts, and then obviously I'll drink water during the run as well. Now I'm going to take you guys to my Koros app and show you how I'm gonna program the workout. So here's my app. Um, this is just like your dashboard. These are all my metrics that I get. Right now I'm 88% recovered, which is pretty good. My training load for the week is at a 907, but I'm gonna go into my training calendar in order to actually create a workout. So today's Saturday, I'm just going to add and go to create workout. It's super easy to do this. So I'm just gonna go to run. You can actually like title it what you want. So I'm gonna say long run workout. I'm going to add a description. So first I'm going to add a warm up, and I'm going to do it instead of time. I'm going to do it for distance and my target distance is going to be six miles. Cause I have six miles easy. 
So I'm gonna do that. Intensity type, I'm just not gonna set it for this just because it is a warm up. So I'm not gonna set it and I'm going to save. And then that's the warm up. So now I'm going to add another portion. And I'm doing four minutes on, two minutes float. So I'm gonna do a repeat workout over here. For my training, I'm going to have a target time of four minutes. And at an intensity type, I'm going to switch this to pace and I'm gonna change the pace range just to make sure that my watch tells me if I'm staying on pace. My goal pace is a 620. I'm gonna set it between 610 and 645 just so that my watch isn't like freaking out at me every single second if I go slightly faster or slower than the 620. 620 is just kind of like my range. I'm gonna save that. My second one is my rest period or in this case, it's my float. So I'm gonna have a target time of two minutes and intensity type. I'm again gonna set it to pace. Um, my coach wants me to keep it between around 7.30. So I'm gonna do from a seven to eight minute pace just so that my watch isn't beeping at me too, too much. So I'm gonna save that there. Um, and then you get to select how many times you wanna repeat this. This is gonna be 13 miles of this so i did the math out that would be around 15 repeats and i'm gonna add one more section for my cool down and my cool down i'm going to instead of having a target time it's going to be a distance and it is a one mile cool down so that is all good intensity type i'm just not going to set it it is just a cool down so i don't really care and then hit save you can see here I have my warm up of six miles, my repeats going on, four minutes on, two minute flow, and then my cool down. So this is the workout and I'm going to save it. Now it is on my app for today. So when I go into my watch today, um, I'll show you guys later, but it will pop up right on my watch and it will ask me if I want to start the workout for the day. And I will hit yes and we will start the workout. It's now 9.19, so. I gotta leave soon. I today is like 75, whatever. I'm honestly used to running in the heat and humidity and I don't actually think it's the worst idea to train in it. I did that for my CIM training and CIM went great. I definitely think it gave me an edge because race day at CIM was definitely a little bit humid and I was totally fine, um, but I know a lot of runners had a really rough day out there because of the temps. I really do believe that training in the heat is just so great for training. I'm also filming for Instagram, so I'm like filming on my phone and on here. <laughs> Double dipping. Okay, we have the long run fit of the day. This is the Divergent collection. Divergent sports bra, Divergent shorts in purple haze. I freaking love this color combo. I think it's so cute. I'm gonna be carrying my gels, which I'll get in a sec. I will have my gels in one pocket here. I don't know why you wouldn't want to smell good when you run, like come on. Deodorant, I love this spray stuff. Spray deodorant has changed my life. Take out my earrings because I can't stand when I can hear them clinking with my AirPods. The other two can stay. I'm going with the BPN Mixed Berry. This is their brand new flavor. Um, just launched like, I think on Monday actually. So they're brand new. They're so good. They are so good. I do love the original. These are like the original ones that came out with apple cinnamon. I ran CIM with these, but like, mmm. The mixed berry. Tastes like the inside of a gusher. I'm gonna bring these with me on my run. These have 24 grams of carbs per serving, which is perfect. I'm putting on my Coros heart rate monitor. So this is an arm heart rate monitor. Thank God, because no one wants to be wearing one around your chest. That's so uncomfortable. It's so comfortable. I honestly forget that it's even on when I'm running. I know you do not need a Coros watch to have the heart rate monitor. So this actually connects via Bluetooth. It doesn't matter what watch you have. You can have a Garmin or whatever watch you have. It will connect via Bluetooth. Obviously you should still have a Coros. 
kind of cute, making me feel like a true runner. I also am going to bring my Coros Pod 2. This will be attached to my shoe. Basically just tracks your stride. It gives you your instantaneous pace at any given moment. So there's no sort of lag on your watch if I'm trying to look at the pace which will be super helpful for today's speed workout because I'm trying to hit specific paces. Then I have my AirPods. We're gonna be jamming a country the whole time. I'm just gonna bring this huge thing. I always just stash my water in a bush and basically keep coming back for it, which isn't always ideal, honestly, but like, what are you gonna do? I'm trying out here, okay? I have my gels in here right now in my side pocket. It's 9.50, definitely a little bit later than I normally leave for my long runs, but I'm filming for YouTube, okay? So I it takes more time when I'm trying to film everything. It is definitely a bit humid out, but on the bright side, there's no sun. It's like all cloudy, um, so hopefully that saves me. These are the Asics GT 1000. 10, I think. Um, they're linked on my Amazon storefront if you want to check them out. Now I'm going to throw on the Koros Pod 2. This is what it looks like in the little case. Clips on, so it's not going anywhere. Don't even worry about that. But I put this like underneath my shoelace and then I just clip on the Pod 2. And we're good. Okay, I'm here now. I'm going to just stretch and get going. I'll try to update you guys along the run. So I'm gonna go to run, and when I press that, I start the workout scheduled for today, and then I'm going to hit yes, and it's going to bring me right to that workout. Now water is behind that tree, and this will kind of be like my stopping point for the rest of the run today. Okay, two miles in. I'm gonna turn around at three miles um, so I can go get my water before the tempo starts at six. Three and a half miles in. It is definitely humid. I am sweating a lot already. So, I already know this one's gonna be a brutal one. But at least it's not sunny. I'm at 4.5. I'm about to go up the bridge. And then I'll grab my water, keep going, start the workout. It's definitely hot and humid. Okay, so let's see how this goes. My first gel. I'm at five miles. I am at 5.72 miles. Quick water. And then we start the workout at six miles. Wish me luck. Another water stop. I'm dying. This workout's hard. So I'm at 17 miles now. And I'm gonna call the workout quits. I'm supposed to stop at 19, but honestly, I know that I put in the right effort for this workout. Um, I'm so happy with it. I don't feel like I failed because I didn't do till 19. The effort's there. It's just really hot, and I know it's best for me to just do a three mile cool down. Honestly, old me would have like torn myself apart for not finishing, but I know now it is all about effort. I live in Florida. It's insanely humid. I just ran freaking 11 miles straight at 620 to 738 minute pace. So I'm very happy with it. This was a huge confidence booster. I feel honestly really good after today. Here is the workout, 164 average heart rate with my heart rate monitor. My fastest lap was a 615 and we have 20.02 miles and 724 pace average. Hello. That was interesting. Honestly, it was such a confidence booster. If this was like me coaching myself, I would have never <laughs> done that workout. That was hell. Oh my god. For the most part, I hit all my splits. Towards the beginning, I was like a little more conservative. I actually just can't believe that I ripped that one out my ass. It's funny because like, I feel like when it comes to the race, I just rip it. And <laughs> so 
somehow it always works out but i'm really not used to doing so much marathon pace or faster work in my long runs like normally i just do a couple surges at the end it's it's good for me and i know that i need it and i know that like with my running goals and you know where i want to be in a couple years i need this stuff i need to be pushed like this anyways i am going to go home and i need to eat um i need coffee these were also really good literally spilled that all over me <laughs> how did i do that I had to shower because I was just so gross already now. Also guys, like the tan lines not be worse. Like they just got even worse today. And even like the tan line behind is so bad. I'm so excited for coffee. I think I'm gonna make eggs really so good i love these after a run so these have 18 grams of protein per serving and they're vegan this one's cacao bean it's so good i feel like i have weird phases where i get obsessed with pears and then i completely forget about them mm. but right now obsessed I'm going to show you how to make the best coffee you've ever had. I perfected the way that I make my coffee. We're gonna get ice first. About half a cup of ice. Now I'm gonna grab my espresso. My apartment complex actually has an espresso machine. So I just go and get like eight shots of espresso, bring it back here, and then I just put it in the refrigerator so I have it for my iced coffee. Cold espresso. I'm just gonna put about like a shot of espresso. Now I'm gonna fill like up to about here with just water. Just wait, like half espresso, half water. And then I'm gonna grab my brewed coffee. I only use coffee over cardio for all my coffee. I just make like a big batch in my coffee pot. Literally this entire cabinet, oh, you probably can't see, is full of coffee. It's slight addiction i just brew the coffee and then i have it for the week this is just a water bottle full of coffee this is the new um frosted cereal one it's so good so then i just pour the rest with regular coffee and then i leave a little bit of room and then i top it off with oat milk it is the best coffee you're ever gonna have and then we just top the rest with oat milk. Stop. It's stunning. Mm. With my meal, I'm going to mix up my reds and my greens. And it looks weird. It does look weird. I promise it tastes so good. I have eggs. If you don't put ketchup on your eggs, I do not trust you. Um, I have the rest of my pear. I already ate my banana because I was starving. Um, I'm gonna pair that with my peanut butter. And then we have all of our beverages. <laughs> One thing that I try to always do is eat as soon after my runs as possible because I do feel like that really speeds up recovery, especially with long runs. Also going to show you guys a little breakdown of my running summary from my run today on my Koros app, just so you guys can kind of see. I will say that is definitely one of my favorite parts about the Koros watch is just how easy creating the workout and then just being able to do the workout is. I don't have a terrible tan line from the heart rate monitor, but I'm gonna check what my heart rate was on my Koros app. I always love looking at my long run stats. So it was a 164 average heart rate. My max heart rate was a 184. When I go to the workout itself, it literally breaks up every single split so I can see what my pace was at each four minute uh, tempo. I'm honestly so happy. Like that workout went so much better than I thought it would, especially with this heat. <sighs> I kind of want to make pancakes. I get the cold sweats like every time after I run. So if I go to today's activity, I have my 20 mile run. Um, it shows you like the map 
And then here are all my stats. 709 feet of elevation gain, let's go. You can see what zones I was in. Then I can see the same type of stuff for my heart rate. I can take a look at my cadence, my stride length, running power. Here is an actual breakdown of all of my split. I have a 621 average pace, 633, 625, 618, 615. Let's go, that was my fastest one. 621, 618, 621, 621, 631, I was dead. Um, and then 617. So that's just like a quick breakdown of how you can kind of see the workout. And it's honestly just so helpful to be able to look back at all your splits. You don't have to keep track of anything. Um, obviously the watch does it for you. And it's just super helpful.